Hi, this is Eric, and today I'll be showing you how to edit MetQ parts and use some basic shortcuts in the process. Be sure to like our video and send us a comment below. So, as you may know, MetQ groups fittings as one piece. This allows you to select multiple parts, like I'm doing in this example, such as flange and valve. And here I'm just typing the copy command, and I'll be copying it down here below. To move around really easily in the drawing, I'm using my control key plus my left button on my mouse. In addition, I'm also using the scroll wheel on my mouse as well. Also, it's a really good idea to turn on ortho mode located in the bottom menu bar tab. So let's go ahead and select this with a crossing. As you can see, there's a, a series of um, nodes. We're going to pick this node, and as we press the space bar, we can toggle between the different editing modes. It provides you with a really fast way to stretch, move, rotate, and even mirror the selected objects or object. Now that we've rotated the flanges and valves, we can simply move it right into place. Let's go ahead and mirror the pipe to the opposite side of the valve. It asks to keep the entities and we pick yes. So for the next tip I'm going to show you, this is recommended only if you're not using the bill of materials. First we'll be typing pick style and then ungrouping this straight piece of pipe and then stretching it. Here I'll be stretching this pipe. Let's make it two feet to the left. Always remember to set the pick style back to one so that the entities are properly grouped together. Lastly, let's go ahead and copy this piece of pipe and then position it over the other. Let's go ahead and rotate it using the spacebar command as I showed you earlier. Again, if we want to manipulate or edit a MetQ part, we'll need to change pick style back to zero again. Now using the layer tools at the bottom left, we can isolate the piping layer. And then we'll type TR for trim and select the intersection using a window crossing. And then simply we'll pick the pieces that we want to remove. And in this way the vertical pipe appears as though it's over the other pipe. The utility that we're showing here in this demo is called MetQ, which runs inside AutoCAD, LT, or if you don't have AutoCAD, you can use our standalone solution called AbbeyCAD. Feel free to contact us for more. We can be reached at 888-271-7121, or you can visit our website at cadavenue.com. And if you're watching our video on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to our channel, or just send us a comment below. We hope this video has been helpful, and we hope you have a great day.